Hi guys, this is Nomadic Gamer and this is Stardew Valley. I've decided to just do both of them, Stardew Valley and Kingdom. Just for a little while, I might just do like um, a year in game. Let's see how it goes. And I have played this before. I I haven't beaten it. I haven't uh, seen everything there is to see in the game. But I figured I would do a let's play of it. Just something relaxing and something easy to do. And then here you can pick different farms. Um, I've never gone with the standard. Um, I've seen it in let's plays, other people's let's plays all the time. Um, the Riverland farm I think was my first one that I picked. Um, it's really great. It's you can you can fish up anything in the river and and sell the fish. Um, I think I my second let's play I've gone with the hilltop. And I like it. Um Forest Farm Wilderness. At night monsters come out. Let me go with this one. This one sounds very interesting and the forest kinda just sounds like you will have all kinds of trees at your disposal. This will be interesting. This one will be interesting. Let's go with that. I have my very special granddaughter. I want you to have a sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade for a growing emptiness. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. About 20 years later. Georgia, join us. Thrive. <laughs> Smile, you're with Georgia. <laughs> Terminated. Life's better with Yoja. Mm, it sounds like every other corporation out there. Dear Nuha, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. Same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Twilight Town Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck, love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya?
I love the pixelated art style of this. After playing Kingdom, it's like I wanted like another awesome looking pixelated uh pixelated game. Hello, you must be Nuha. I'm Robin, local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. This is Twilight Town Farm. <laughs> What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overground, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Louis, Mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. <laughs> rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. <laughs> Rude! <laughs> Don't listen to her, Nuha. He's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of our house upgrades. <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from a long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck! seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Alright. And with each um, new little thing, like your house is different. Um, if you pick the minor thing, you'll have like this, this minor uh, emblem up here. Um, and I forget what the fishing one is, but you can you can mix and match anything and everything really um, that you can think of. Um, okay. So this is a brand new farm, a brand new layout. I have no idea what all it entails, but all of this area is farmable. And we have an axe, a hoe, watering can, pickaxe, scythe. You know, all of this stuff, all already at our disposal. I hope I look... Yeah, I do. I do. I think I look feminine enough. Um, 
I was going for like a... I don't know, like a beach summertime look. With really short hair. And in the early game, you... Oh, and you can craft things as well. What I love about this game is there's so much to do. There's just a variety to do. And I love that. So, there's a large lake here. I wonder if we can fish it. I wonder if... And there's more over here. Yes, a very large lake. So, this and wood is a good thing to have. Nuha, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year, Grandpa. So, I've, I've never reached the third year yet, but I would like to. And if this playthrough goes, goes nicely, and, you know, I like it, I'm enjoying myself, um, I, I would like to do that. But definitely, in the early game, uh, wood and, uh, stone are very important. So, from what I see, it's like, it's like a really large area with what looks to be a lake nearby. So this kind of reminds me of the first area. A little bit because with the 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 river one Oops. all right let me plant these seeds get the the this little area tidied up. Oh. Okay. Now. Did not mean to water that. Okay. And your energy goes by really, really fast.
Alright. Yes, your energy just goes so quickly early on. But go so far so good. I can't wait to figure out if we can fish in this lake in the middle of our in the middle of this farm. by really really quickly as well okay I really like you can you can put things in in here you can put things outside um, and you know it doesn't have it doesn't have to be on your farm either I have like 32 but yes this first episode might be a little bit longer than what I, I wanted it to be but you know it's just setting things up and getting through the first day and you know the only way to alright it would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer there's 28 people in total and getting started if you want to become a farmer you have to start with the basics use your hoe to till the soil use a seed packet on the tilled soil to still a crop water every day until the crop is ready for harvest and basically grow a parsnip but there's just so much and you can gather things and you can sell Things like the dandelion, like the things that you find. And what I love so much about this game is there is just a bigger story that unfolds. Um, so it's not just you and f building up a farm, it's you building up your relationship with this community and with the things that are important to the community. Um, and that's what I love that's what I love and you can visit them you can visit them inside their homes and they have birthdays Louis's birthday is at the end of the week followed by Vincent Haley Pam, Shane, Pierre, and Emily, and they all have their special uh, things that they like. And if you gift them, and if you gift those special things on their birthday, 
you will gain a better relationship with them and they each month is comprised of a season so there's four four months make a year basically and so the first month is spring the second month is summer third month is fall and the last month of the year is winter and each month is comprised of two uh, festivals to look forward to so for this one it's the egg festival and the flower dance um, and they also give you missions and oh I'm surprised oh the shop itself is closed, but this place, this area, is still open. Caroline. Hello, you must be Nuha, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. The altar of Yoba. you're not good enough friends with Abigail to enter her bedroom so once you raise up your friendship level you can enter their rooms which you can do that to get a, a, an idea of what they like all right so and the only way to save your game is by going to sleep And the food, the crops, you can also cook in this game. There's so much you can do. It, it's just crazy, and that's what I love about it. So it's more than just farming. Um, so these are the forage materials, and if you sell them, you you gain more points in that area. Um, so yes, the dandelion is something that I would definitely like to keep and eat, because 25 energy is a big deal, like right now. Um, but because it's the end of the day, I'm just going to sell them. I can kill him, right? Please let me... Okay. Wow. Alright. Oh, yes. Let's get inside. I keep forgetting that this isn't like my old farm. And the time that you kind of want to... I think the cutoff point is 2 in the morning. But I'm not sure. Alright, there we go. 70 gold. And then you can check and see, like, you know... Um what exactly sold for what and later you can check your
your um it's kind of like your inventory and it will show you what each item sells for so I think that's pretty helpful all right day two progress has been saved And that's going to have to be the end of this episode. Um, so if you enjoyed, click that like button. Subscribe for more Stardew Valley. I'm looking very forward to playing more of this. And I will see you next time. Bye. Run away, run away. And I know, and I know, and I know I'm right now We can change anything and make it better Together now we're strong, don't question it The truth will break your chains, we have the key Open your eyes and see